session on signal processing today we are going to see about continuous time domain signal few types of continuous time domain signal i have covered in the last session that is a uh, link for the last video i have i'll be giving in the description box please do check it out okay let us get into the session the first signal we are going to see is signal function So this is signum function. The signum function can be expressed with this equation that is signum of t is equal to 1 that is amplitude 1 when t greater than 0 and minus 1 for t less than 0 and at 0 its amplitude is 0. This is a type of power signal. Its power value is equal to 1 and its average value is equal to 0. As you can as you can see in the diagram, the amplitude on the positive and negative sides are will cancel out each other. So the average value is equal to zero. Okay. Now comes sync function. Sync function has maximum amplitude at zero. Here the maximum amplitude is 1. Okay, So you can have uh, whatever the amplitude you want. So maximum amplitude will be at 0. And uh, it, it, gets fall, it gets fall down like the amplitude is 1 here. And if the amplitude decrease. And it's, uh, its amplitude starts decreasing when it uh, starts entering into the positive or negative axis. Okay, Sync function is also called a sampling function. And full form of sync function is sine cardinal function. You can see this is a, like a sinusoidal function. So I will show you what is sinusoidal function in the next slide. So this can be expressed with this equation. So next comes sinusoidal function. See this is the sinusoidal function. This is called this is a periodic signal and this can be expressed as x of t is equal to a sine of omega t plus phi where a is the amplitude of the signal omega is the frequency and phi is the phase okay so here capital t capital t is time taken by one cycle of wave okay time taken by one cycle of wave uh, small t is total time period of the signal next comes rectangular function so rectangular function is also called as gate function or window function this is symmetry about y-axis and this is even signal so why this is symmetry about y-axis can you see here the positive and negative quadrant are uh, positive in the in the positive axis it is a mirror image of negative axis okay you can see like this is uh, if you consider this as a mirror this is both the mirror images okay so now if I give the time period as minus half to plus half then its um, amplitude will be maximum between this and there will be steep decrease from the amplitude 1 to 0 at minus half and here also steep decrease of amplitude 1 to 0 at plus half so total time period is minus half to half so this is rectangular function and here similar to rectangular function we have triangular function This triangular function can be expressed with this equation that is 0 when x is greater than half here uh, actually this is a mistake if x is greater than 1 okay the time total time and uh, 1 minus 2x when x is less than half here it is 1 okay so here I have given one, minus 1 to 1 so just change here 1 1 okay so in, in rectangular function we have seen a, a steep decrease that is sudden decrease from amplitude 1 to 0 instead of sudden decrease it re decreases or increases it decreases gradually from 0 okay at 0 the amplitude is maximum and towards the positive x axis and positive uh, negative x axis it starts falling down gradually okay this is triangular function and this is symmetry about y axis and this is also an even signal 
So that's all for today's video in theory session. Let us see some MATLAB. I mean, how to write code for to generate all these function in MATLAB. So let us uh, get into the MATLAB demo.